Okay, so based on that last reading, I'd like to know that last reading that I did on Biden. So I would like to see, based on that, show me who wins the 20, 2020 election. Who wins the election? Who is going to be the next president? Show me the next president of the United States. So here's what I get. There's such a crazy contrast of card of energies and card in the cards in this read. <laughs> I feel a death and a new life, okay? It's like the death is like oh, heavy and then the new life is like fantastic, okay? But I, you know, just in these contrasts just feels, you know, maybe some drama. And confusion, but at the same time, it's not confusing. This Ace of Swords up here, it's crystal clear. The sun right here. This Fool at the base, it's, this is the new beginning, but in the new beginning, there will be some, I don't know why this comes to my head, but like um, a snake like shedding the last <laughs> of the old skin and emerging new. So we will have a little bit of that shedding though. So here's what I see. This six of wands is the victory, right? Covered by this five of pentacles, which is a loss card. I feel, you know, this just telling us what so many already feel is gonna happen, which is that, and Trump is already lined up verbally several times, that he's not going to leave easily. He's not going to, um, accept the results. So it's like, we know the win, like, let's say without this card, we very clearly know the winner <laughs> and it's a brand new time emerging, right? But then on top, then we get this covering card that's like, oh, wait a minute, trouble. Like, you know, some votes are, are missing or something like that. We don't really have, we don't really know what we have. This Ten of Cups tells me the Democrats come out this very strong. Ten of Cups is a completion card. It's like, it's so complete, the, the win. But here coming in, unfortunately, we have a Five of Cups, which is a loss card, okay? So this could be even our own votes, some votes being lost. Still, even so, it's a win. But these votes, be, you know, like this difficulty could sort of hold up the announcement of the victor of the winner. So these things could just sort of be some issues to deal with. Um, I see this 10 of wands being like this. It's upright. It's a terrible burden. It's a false burden being put upon us, okay? The sun is another card of a new, brand new day, a brand new age even and this false um, burden put upon this moment is not as strong as the sun coming through so that's awesome princess of pentacles in hopes and fears i feel this as like the fear of you know just counting like sort of the recount of the vote you know maybe we'll be a little nervous um just like oh great but it's very strong. I mean, here's another extremely strong card, the star card at the end. It's like, first of all, America, mirror, you know, wish your wish upon a star come true. <laughs> and I do feel this. I can't help but feel, I hope that it doesn't take so long that we're into the holidays, the holiday season, like Christmas, you know, because we have the sun and the star. But I just feel that by then, at the very least, you'll be very happy and pleased and that it will be very much official. You know, the holidays really, let's face it, they start in November now, right? <laughs> um, and, and here we have Kamala. We have Harris here actually at the top with the star and the three of pentacles. This is where it ties into my last read on Biden that I do see him here at the end. For some reason, the cards have Kamala 
even at a little bit of a higher place. So this Queen of Wands showed up in my last read beneath the surface, and I also added this note in that read that the Queen of Wands is often my Nancy Pelosi card, and it may be Nancy here. It may be telling us that she will be interim president for a period of time before Joe is inaugurated, like a temporary place filler, if, God willing, Trump is taken out for all of his corruption. Maybe because he's just tired. He's exhausted. You know, he's had a rough emotional run in the, in the, election, per in the election period. And she's just going to kind of like, I got this, Joe. You know, like, you know, he got us... You know, he's represented here. You know, he got us he got us to the end. And she might have sort of stepped up in an even stronger way to help that to help us really get there. And so she's being acknowledged here in the cards. And this three of pentacles, the beginning of redesigning everything. <laughs> yeah. We're going to re we're going to have this new beginning. This fool. And we're going to make some changes. We're going to redesign how our government, you know, it's, it's a new beginning to, to start to rebuild. Oh, there you go. It's a rebuilding that is coming. So that's definitely very reassuring that we really have um, all the cards like really on our side. Oh, and this side story here, nostalgia, the seven of cups, can be an illusion delusion card but can also be a dreaming of a and entering into like that new gateway with this two of wands and this is also i feel okay and also working through all the illusion delusion getting to a simpler time where we don't have all of this i mean the pain of that guy you know the pain of all of this false inform this false phony i think like disinformation period that we might have to go through and for the next however many days to the election you know emerging from having been trapped in this thing we've been trapped in and the judgment it's like we're free and it's it's judgment time it's judgment day now we're gonna start to be able to i mean here's our king of wands we're gonna start to be able to pass that judgment like officially with the lawful people at the top and start and there's that nine of swords like whoever this king of wands is someone coming in strong maybe as a new ag or just i don't know who that is someone in congress i feel that really strong someone who's maybe going to be the new like nancy pelosi or who knows senate majority Ooh, wouldn't that be nice senate majority leader okay and we're going to have this nine of wands swords so many trials coming let's begin right it's interesting this nine of cups being nine of swords being it's going to be some hell for some people nine of cups here is like oh at last this justice coming in the rest of us are going to be feeling very happy and very nice about this you know this world card upside down like whatever this uh, world mob that we have, oh, this hangman that we have been dealing with, right? That has been this corruption in the world that we have been dealing with patiently, waiting for this day of strength. So that's what I see. I hope that helps you guys. Um, if we do get into some of this difficulties, that it'll help you get through it. I mean, geez, I hope that it's even easier than what my cards show me here, but if it is difficult, just know that it's all good in the end. Keep that energy and expect it. So thanks for watching. Um, let me know if you had any thoughts or feelings on this and um, like and subscribe if you would, and I'll talk to you guys next time.